AEW Sting has plotted career endgame, Darby Allen to be part of it, Dragon Lee signs with WWE and is joining NXT in January, Ricky Steamboat reveals that he backed out of Ric Flair's last match after learning Flair had a pacemaker, plus lots more. Hey there everyone, happy Thursday, it's Denise Salcedo, you're watching the latest and I got a couple of news stories for you here today and we're gonna go ahead and kick it off with a recent interview that Sting did where he kind of talks about his future in pro wrestling, take a look. Sting says he has an idea of what he would like to do with the remainder of his career but is keeping his cards close to his chest. The 63-year-old took part in an in-depth interview with The Ringer, released on Thursday. During the discussion, he spoke about having plotted out his endgame, saying, quote, Well, I know Darby Allen is going to be part of it for sure. I won't have a singles match at this point. Darby will be along with me, and I'll be along with him, and we can add more to it as far as I'm concerned. But I have a few people in mind, and I really don't want to say now. He would go on to say that he wants to leave a lasting and positive memory in the minds of fans as he approaches the end of his career. As history begins to come to an end, as the last wave comes into shore, I want to write it with all those who want to come on with me. Absolutely. And on to our next news topic, Dragon Lee has officially signed with WWE. Take a look. Dragon Lee announced he had signed with the company after he and Realistico defeated FTR to win the AAA Tag Team titles on Wednesday's AAA Noche de Campeones event that was held in Acapulco. ESPN reported that Lee will start with the company in January for the NXT brand. Triple H sent out a tweet saying, quote, an unbelievable athlete who has collected accolades and held championships across the globe, and he's just getting started. As a result of his announcement, Lee and Realistico then vacated the titles just minutes after winning them. According to the Cubs fan, Lee notified AAA of his status well in advance of Wednesday's show. Lee was also interviewed by ESPN saying he hoped that he could be the next Rey Mysterio. Dragon Lee broke into professional wrestling in 2014, first wrestling for CMLL. Over the last years, he has worked for Ring of Honor, New Japan Pro Wrestling, and AAA. Other family members, including his father, Bestia del Ring, and brother, Rush, who is signed to AEW. On Wednesday's Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer reported that the deal between Lee and WWE was made several weeks ago, but part of the deal was to keep it quiet till this event. Meltzer also said that AEW head Tony Khan was aware of what was happening and that Lee and Realistico were going to defeat FTR for the AAA tag team titles with Lee getting the pin. The gist of the deal was that um, it was time for him to make a move. He could not go back to New Japan Pro Wrestling, which was his home and where he wanted to work originally and where he'd been working for years along with CMLL. CMLL uh, got rid of him um, because he worked the uh, PWG Battle of Los Angeles a couple of years ago. So they wanted nothing to do with him because he was on the same show with AAA talent. Um, Japan used him because they had a contract with him, but they would not renew the deal because New Japan is loyal to CMLL and he was then working for AAA. So he was out of New Japan even though they liked him. It was just one of the political moves. You know, he was working in Mexico. There's not really a lot of money in Mexico. Um, he had uh, him and Drillist to go ahead and try out with WWE, and they wanted him. Uh, AEW wanted him as well. Meltzer said that based on Triple A's head Dorian Roldan's praise of Lee signing on social media, he is likely looking for a partnership with WWE. Meltzer also added that Lee's contract is for NXT money and not main roster money. Ricky Steamboat reveals why he turned down wrestling Ric Flair in his last match. Steamboat spoke with Bill After recently and said that he had initially agreed to be part of the match but backed out after learning that Flair had a pacemaker, saying, quote, All these years, I never knew. I immediately just said, you know, I don't think I want to do this. I don't want my legacy to be that I was in the ring if he happened to pass away or something went wrong. And now on to the latest regarding Lance Archer. Lance Archer said he is open for a slow rebuild and reinvention upon his return to AEW. The 45-year-old spoke to Busted Open Radio Wednesday for the first time since his recent promo where he called out AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling for not using him how he thinks he should be used, saying, quote, 
I have created a base to who I am in the company, but things have gone awry. I'm okay with the idea of a slow rebuild. I'm okay with kind of reinventing myself and finding my place within the company to get back to fighting for those championships. He added that he understands why the fan base wouldn't accept him coming right back into the title picture because of the rise of MJF, Ricky Starks, and others, but wants to work to rebuild himself back to that point. He said he was grateful for his AEW job that allowed him to work for New Japan and other companies, as other promotions might not allow him to do that. However, he knows what he's capable of and wants that opportunity. That's it for today's video. Let me know what you guys thought about these stories in the comments section below. On top of that, I remind you all to check out my show, Speak Now Pro Wrestling, live here Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. You can go ahead and click on Wednesday's episode right now on the screen.